Hello Tivians. On this week's schedule, a kind of forgotten hunting ground, never visited on low populated servers while this spot is actually still a decent place to hunt at. If you know how to hunt, you can still amass great pulls here which will only benefit in your experience per hour. Welcome to Lower Spikes. First things first. How do we get here? It's basically the same way as if you were going to Gnome Hub or War Zones, but instead of going in there, take the Northern Teleport. Go all the way down, and you've arrived to the lowest spikes. The lowest floor because Lower Spikes has three floors. But for this particular video I will only show a guide of the lowest, also the hardest one. It's a big place with huge variation of creatures, makes hunting here difficult. Minimum required level is at least 200 if you want to hunt here solely with avalanche runes. Despite of the numerous of creatures here, you only have to wear two types of equipment. Physical and fire, because that's most dominant here. And since I recommend level 200, you could wear Firemind Raymond as armor and equip Dwarven legs, in combination with Demon Helmet and Shoulder Plate. Dreamwalker Boots is the best boots to use in this place. As for accessory, use a moon mirror with foxtail amulet. The idea is to reduce as much as physical input as possible. You have no other choice than to equip a dwarven ring, because the monsters cause drunkness. The experience isn't so bad here either. On moments I had peaks well over 3kk experience per hour. But I do have to mention, I didn't really loot the creatures anymore at some point too because it was getting chaotic. But if you were to loot everything, this place is also a decent profit hunt. In my server for example, the red dragon leather and scales are 5 up to 10k each, and the behemoth fangs close to 20k, so I had it on drop tracker and looted it whenever I see it popping up. You might want to take an obsidian knife with you if you plan on hunting here. For supplies, I'd say around 6 to 800 avalanche runes and around 200 mana potions. You can take more potions if you still have a lot of caps left. You should be having enough with one dwarven ring because the lost creatures drop dwarven rings as well. The walking route I took was mainly the southern part, counterclockwise. Doing only a partial of the complete floor was more than enough to maintain full spawn and get the maximum out of my hunting session. You would need around 6 hours to complete the bestiary for most monsters. As for enslaved dwarf and bulkongri you'd be hunting way longer, up to 12 hours. But it gives a nice reward in return and that's 250 charm points. I didn't use any prey or any charms. But if you happen to have a free prey on Behemoth or Lost Basher, by all means, use them. The same counts for charms, definitely put freeze on Behemoth and wound on the Bashers. Setting up a charm on Enslaved Dwarf would be a waste here as there are not enough on your path to have the full benefit of it. So let's do our recap. Physical is your main damage income, utilize your physical as much as possible. The hunt can be dangerous on some points of the walking route. We have some hard hitters such as Behemoth and the Melee Dwarves that can give you a hard time. Watch out for the invisibility of the Husher and Thrower, they could block your path without you knowing it. And yep, after today's video, I really hate Dragon Lords because of all their fire. Now on a more serious note, this is a good hunting spot. Okay not top tier, but in terms of charm places I'd definitely give this spot an A. Before I stop talking, I just want to mention that while you're here you can do the tasks for the spike quest. There are 4 daily tasks you can do. Parcel delivery, undercover contacts, temperature gauging, and drillworm killing. Per completed task you get 3500 experience and 1 fame point. You'll have to complete the tasks 100 times to acquire the full cave explorer outfit. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful in any way, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll always be notified whenever I post a new video, and it helps the channel grow as well. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I will be seeing you Tibians in the next one. Stay safe.